Ten days ago, I talked about a guy who acted in self-defense after being physically assaulted by a man who has a girlfriend with a bum EBT card, and you had people saying, oh, is that really acting in self-defense? Did he really have to stab him? Once he picks up a weapon, his claims of being a victim go out the window. This person got charged with murder, he was put on like a $250,000 bail, and people was upset. Even the mayor in New York City claimed that to be bullshit. Well, good news, everybody. All charges dropped dropped against 61 year old NYC deli worker Jose Alba who fatally stabbed bigger and younger attacker. Celebrate good times, come on! The office of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg on Tuesday morning dropped all charges against the 61 year old deli worker Jose Alba who fatally stabbed an attacker earlier this month. Bragg's office charged Alba with second degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon and sent him to the notorious Rikers Island prison despite videos showing a much larger Larger and younger man, 35 year old Austin Simon, going behind the counter of a Harlem deli on July 1st and physically attacking Alba, who works there. In fact, additional video shows Alba pleading with an angry Simon, I don't want a problem, before Simon aggressively shoved Alba into store shelves and grabbed him by the neck. Because, yes, you morons, in any situation, nobody wants to stab someone who's outwardly screaming and getting mad all over an EBT card and a bag of chips. They don't want to have a situation escalate. They want it de-escalated. You know why it never happens that way? It's because the aggressor and the mean old bastard who wants to walk behind the counter and start shoving and grabbing people by the neck is the reason the situation escalates and why somebody has to defend themselves. Simon was incensed that Alba took potato chips away from the 10 year old daughter of Simon's girlfriend whose benefits card, EBT card, failed to work in the transaction. Bragg's office was intensely criticized for Alba's murder charge. His stint on Rikers and the $250,000 bail Alba would have raised to get out. One of Alba's defenders was Democratic New York City Mayor Eric Adams who called Alba innocent. We have enough people who are there for people who break the law. I'm a person that's there for people who follow the law. And as I saw it from the video, I saw a worker here inside the store following the law. And he should not have been approached in the manner that he was approached. And I think it's, 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 it's time for New Yorkers and Americans to start standing up for people who follow the law. And that's what I'm going to Soon, Alba was released on a reduced $50,000 bail and maintained he was defending himself against Simon. Pressure mounted daily against Bragg's office to drop charges against Alba as the investigation continued. Finally, the district attorney's office said a homicide case against Alba could not be proven at trial beyond a reasonable doubt. As part of a motion to dismiss the case filed Tuesday morning, the Times said the case won't be presented to a grand jury. The New York Daily News cited the criminal complaint added that Simon's girlfriend grabbed a knife from her purse and stabbed Alba in the arm during the bodega attack. And guess what? There's video of it for all you people that want to claim that it's all hearsay. And I will argue that one could say this is in reaction to him stabbing her boyfriend. That's a fair reaction to have. But you also need to admit that her boyfriend went behind the counter and started grabbing somebody by the neck physically attacking him, which prompted old Alba to defend himself. So if you're gonna whine about one, you better start whining about the other. Police sources say Alba was stabbed during the assault, but that Simon's girlfriend denied to police that she stabbed Alba. A liar! Alba's lawyer said during the arraignment that Simon's girlfriend stabbed Alba three times in the shoulder and hand. And this is where this story gets good, and it's the end of the article. The Times added that Simon's family spoke with the district attorney's office Tuesday morning and criticized the decision. Simon's cousin Conjure Simon said, we are all clearly disappointed and can't understand how it's okay to take an unarmed man's life. The decision sets a dangerous precedent. And you know, this reminds me of something else that happened recently that I talked about on my channel. Say a Dollar General clerk shot and killed 23-year-old Roosevelt, who showed a gun and demanded cash Wednesday. Witnesses indicated that the weapon was brandished and pointed at, at employees. The sibling recognize their brother's wrongdoing. He got some responsibility, but not all. But they say that still doesn't warrant the clerk's actions. Right and wrong is wrong. That was wrong for that clerk to shoot my brother in the chest. Yes, he's robbing y'all. Oh, well. 
I don't know why you people think it's acceptable for an individual to just do things and not face any consequence. I don't know why everybody, not everybody, I don't know why some people have this Candyland mindset that if you're in a situation where somebody is being violent to you and you feel as though your life may be on the line, you feel as though you might be getting your ass handed to you in a couple of seconds, that it's wrong for you to pick up a weapon and defend yourself. I'm sorry, everybody's not interested in fisticuffs. Some people gonna pick up a brick and beat you over the head with it. Some people gonna throw a cast register at you. Some people gonna stab you in retaliation. Sorry, but this comment right here talking about, oh, he picked up a weapon so his case of being a victim goes out the window because he shouldn't have done that, complete bullshit. Because guess what? Everybody not doing what you want them to do when it pertains to self-defense. Some people gonna take action into their own hands. Why? Because they value their life and they don't wanna get their ass handed to them. They don't wanna get choked out over a bag of chips. They don't want anybody breaking into their home. I don't know why I've had to keep explaining this to some people because I understand you have a different way of doing things. That's perfectly fine. I'm never gonna sit here and tell you don't do that. I'm never gonna sit here and tell you you can't do that. I'm simply going to tell you don't expect others to do your way of thinking just because you think it's the right way. Other people will have a different idea about what is right and what is wrong. And somebody defending themselves after getting choked in the store and stabbing somebody and then getting stabbed by their crazy ass girlfriend who can seemingly afford a knife but can't afford to pay for a bag of chips. Yeah, somebody's gonna work in self-defense. My mom taught me a very interesting lesson as a kid. I'm gonna use this to wrap up the video. It's a lesson that I hope to instill in younger and older people because it doesn't matter what age you are, a lot of people are fucking dumb. <clears throat> it goes like this. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. In a world full of people that exist and everybody wants to fly off the handle and too many people are too emotionally damaged to figure out what it is to do and what avenue to take part in, a lot of people are fucking stupid and will react in stupidity. And in most instances, it could be your fault and in some instances you may be doing the right thing and that person is a fucking psychopath. And if they start that shit, in that shit. Whatever way you want to end it to make sure that you and that person walk out safely or if you got to defend yourself, do whatever it is you feel in your heart. I'm not going to criticize you. I'm just going to say don't expect other people to follow suit in your weird avenue. So subscribe to the channel. I'm happy Jose got off scot-free. Don't be going in stores acting like you the man on campus. Don't be going around attacking people and make sure your EBT card got money in it. Subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Good Bye.